Hey Rangers, welcome back to this mammoth of a, a figure. This is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Lord Draken Evo version 3. Uh, apparently this was a the Com uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive or an exclusive um, somewhere. If you know, let me know down below in the comments. I just thought this was a general release, but let's have a look. First of all, we've got this really like shattered past thing here. We've got one there. We've got one there with the image, which we'll have a look at in a second. And then we'll have one there. We got him there. At the top, it just says Power Rangers Lightning Collection and then information at the bottom. So let's open up this part one and uh, yeah, let's have a look at him. Hello. <laughs> um, so this is Lord Draken. Um, on the case that we can see that you have Lord Draken right there. You have the different helmets that are cracked. So you've got the Lord Dragon's helmet. And in the corner, you can see that there are the different hands, uh, etc., etc. So let's have a look. So it says Power Rangers, Lord Dragon Evo. You've got uh, Evo 3. Then you've got Lord Dragon there. Uh, on the back, it's got the kind of image. Now, this apparently isn't a comic book. Uh, this is just an image uh, that they've included. Um, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. Oh, I may leave it in the box, actually. Um, Lord Draken there. And then just at the top. Damn. <laughs> just says Power Rangers there. And at the bottom is exactly the same. So let's open up this bad boy and have a look inside. And here we go, Rangers. Here is Lord Draken. And I've got to admit, it's weird seeing the helmet off with a lightning collection because normally they're all kind of together. Uh, you know, it's always, uh, here's the helmet and then you get the head separately. Now, I do kind of think that this figure here is pretty much more like a uh, like a collection piece rather than an actual figure. And we'll go and hopefully go into that a little bit later on, but let's have a look. So first of all, we see Lord Drekken. He's slightly, with his cape on, he, he slants over, which I'm not happy about. Um, but we can see you've got his head there. Um, you can see that he's got the kind of like the blue veins going through his kind of face, uh, his cheeks. And then we've got the silver which is there for his like, hair. And then we've got the shield, which is kind of crossed between Green Ranger and the uh, White Ranger one, which then leads into this new symbol that he's got on for his uh, chest. And then you can see the red lines going down around his arms. Moving down, we can see that the lines follow We've got his new morpher, we've got his uh, arms. Now, one thing is I've noticed that like, with all the other legacy collection is that his arms, uh, they all go down to the side. Now, where this one does here, um, this one leans out like you've seen in the box and it's kind of really irritating on, on that because I thought that the arms would look fine, but it's very weird. It just feels like he's like, here's my cape. You know, you will all die, Rangers, and then that's it. Um, which is kind of annoying, believe me, it's very annoying. But we can see that there's gold on his um, hands, like there's indents where they've got them here. And obviously here, if you can see it, just there, just there. You can see there's more lines going down here along through his arms and then they obviously lean down there. And looking at the kind of bottom parts, we can see that there are lines here and here. Um, and then the obviously the red kind of jumps back down there. So it's kind of pretty basic. There isn't much there for his feet. Now I'm going to quickly show this because I feel that this cape, I don't know why it should be, I think more materially, I think uh, like a material based stuff because it just completely hides the back of the figure. But I will show you as I take it off. But this is what it looks like here. Same here. So, you know, literally you just got the the kind of the way that the cape works. And then you can see how it kind of molds in with the shield, which is kind of cool. Now, one thing is I have noticed is when you take this off, uh, which you have to for taking outside the, the box, uh, if you want to kind of place it back in properly, let these link up to here. And then you know that the uh, cape works perfectly because once you take it off, it doesn't kind of fit in properly. You have to really kind of match them up this way and make sure that they are kind of connecting that way. Um, but as before I show you the back, uh, we've got the kind of gray stri streaks in his hair like here, uh, which you kind of think there'd be a few more, but yeah, for what it is, it's, it's fine. It just kind of links in that way. So without the cape, you can see that they're using the joints. Uh, they've got the kind of like pattern on the kind of boot cuffs and that's kind of pretty much it. There's no kind of added detail to it. The back of the figure, you have the kind of dragon swipes here and here. And these are the two holes that, or three holes should I say, 
is one, two, and three underneath the hair, uh, which pretty much means that you can attach the shield. Uh, as I said, just attach it up. Um, one thing is I thought the arms would be very kind of collapsible and go towards his body, but they're not. They're kind of out all the time, like he's embracing a power up. And again, as I said, you can see the back where uh, the hair is, and uh, there you go. Here is uh, Draken again, and we're gonna try the um, articulation test. Now the feet do move okay, and that one, um, it just feels for a con exclusive. It feels to me a little bit cheaply made. Um, legs move about, legs move about. Let's try that again. Legs try again. Body moves quite easily. Arms. Now it just feels like that one is longer than this one for some strange bizarre reason. Like they've added something extra uh, to that one to make it <laughs> really long. I don't know why, but the arms move that way. It's very kind of loose on that one where that one isn't. Uh, hands turn around like so, so you can see just like that head is kind of restricted to that one but that's absolutely fine for me um, I'm not going to turn his head all the way around anyway let's put his helmet on um, his head does come off quite easily which I've added and um, to be fair the one thing is this the, it looks like he's got no neck like that is one thing I you think that they would have kept a white collar at least so you could tell that there is one but with the addition of the helmet you can see it's all black there's gold and then silver it kind of does give a bit more to it but I do feel that this like there, there could have been a bit of different color uh, around the neck which would have been absolutely fine for the kind of figure, you, you, you see it in the comic or something, and it's absolutely fine. But when you kind of look at it like a toy, that it just looks like his head's gone in. But you could definitely tell that there was some different way with the hel uh, with the head, which was fine. But for this one, I just kind of feel, eh. But it does look a lot cooler without the, uh, the cape for it. But yeah, I just kind of think mm, there could have been more to this one. You get tons of accessories. Um, I just feel like the lightning is possibly the obviously it's the most, but I feel like it didn't need to be included. But you know my kind of stance on this sort of stuff when it comes to lightning. Um, I, I think it doesn't need to be around. This is what really kind of stood out to me when it came to it is basically these battle damage. We'll take Sabra out these battle damaged helmets. We're gonna look at them in a little bit more detail. But I really like the fact that you get kind of a, like a, a stand. Um, the only thing I really wish was different was having different helmets from different seasons. Um, but you can see that obviously you've got Trini, then you've got Kimberly, then you've got obviously Tommy, and then here you've got Jason. Um, it'd been really kind of cool that you got different ones. Let's have a look at the helmets and see what the kind of damage is. Now, I really like the battle damaged helmets. I think 100% that these should come into the lightning effect that we get because this looks absolutely like stunning. Like I would pay extra just to have a battle ice or battle damaged helmet like this. Uh, it's also hard to kind of get into focus. Just look at it right, you've got damage here. Uh, I know you could obviously do it again, like you could make your own version of it, but just to have like buy another figure just for it, I think is a bit pointless. But if we kind of swap over and look at, like say the damage on here, again, you've got silver on the, the visor, and then you've got the kind of black paint that kind of symbolizes like cracking um, of, of the actual helmet and stuff there as well. It kind of really does add to it like a lot more, I think and something way worth better than, again, a cheap piece of lightning. You know, just like that there. Now, I wish Kimberly had a bit more, like, damage on her helmet, but still, it looks kind of really, like, really cool. Just that one there. Like, again, why do the guys have more kind of damage than, like, Kimberly there? Um, you know, I would have had at least some more damage about there. And then again, let's have a look at Trini's helmet. And there's Trini's helmet again, look there. Nice black line there, some 
more damage around the kind of visor and you know even and even going down here again that's really kind of cool to me i would love you know i would love more damage like more damage helmets like this now hopefully that wasn't too blurry now saba saba has something in case if you've not noticed um and i i was generally looking over the sword and it's one thing you can do is if you want to careful with it but this is what they should have done with with draken to begin with is you can take his head off like can you imagine if that came with lord draken with the others that you could have the head just come off it that's kind of cool and even saba it's very well painted i hope this is a little of focus but it's very well painted um more painted than a certain visor um but yeah i'm glad that you could take it off because i think that is just a, a bit more because you see it happen within the comment box i think that would be kind of cool i think that is a very unique piece uh the sword is, is pretty much exactly the same but being able to take it off the head I think that is a very cool thing. Look at that, that's awesome. That's just the stand for the different helmets that come along. So we should be able to see a bit more in the future. And just to show everyone what battleized helmets look like, look, see, they look really cool on the Rangers. I, I would love it if they, if they came with it like that. You know, it, it gives more to it than anything. You know, and I'm really happy on that. I think that would be kind of cool just to have like every single ranger right there just battle damage like i would have that on display because it looks spot on so hasbro get rid of these like lightning things that no one special effects that no one really gives a crap about and just replace it with battleized uh, bat battleized battle damaged helmets because that is more than like that is super cool and that's something that's not been done before and that would be perfect and there we go there is lord draken evolution 3. now this is a nice looking figure to some degree um the only addition that i didn't like was having the arm stood out where it looks a lot different it doesn't look like a normal arm it feels like they've added to it um for some strange bizarre reason i feel also the box could have been better designed but i do think this is just generally a a display piece i think that if you had it like a normal one you could have made it a little bit bigger uh very similar to how we've seen other packs like two packs and stuff so for this one i think that if you're going to get it if you have no intention of taking it out just leave it because there are loads of different things of where it should be stored like hands and saba should have been on the side then you've got different figures there's tons of different things uh, do I like this figure? I think that I th it could have been designed better. I feel like you could have taken the other Lord Draken body, slammed it and made it slightly better. But for me, I feel like this is kind of a wasted figure. I think that we could have had like a Korag or we could have had something more than just Draken constantly and Tommy and Tommy, Tommy everywhere. Um, if you're exactly the same as me, you, uh, put it down in the comments. For this figure, would I get it? If you're only collecting for the Lightning Collection, yes. If you're kind of not really bothered, meh. I would just kind of leave it. That's how I would do it. Uh, it would have been awesome if it came with a limited edition comic rather than a print. But yeah, this figure, for what it is, I feel like it should be something completely different. Uh, I just, and also this, like the Lightning thing, like that looks kind of cool actually. Um, but uh, on the uh, thing, um, but I wouldn't have included something like this. This to me just feels like it was there. Um, I'm, I'm sure that you attach it to the base of the base where the helmets are. But to me, I just feel like this is a wasted effect. Like you could have had Billy's helmet or you could have had Zach's helmet included. Um, so yeah, this figure I feel is a bit of a letdown for the price that you paid. But uh, what are your thoughts on it? You know, would you get Lord Draken Evo 3? Would you leave him? Yes or no? Let me know down below in those comments. And if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.